I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, March the 29th. Uh, you look at your real time index at 134.29 late on, on uh, Tuesday there, and we see that it's gained nearly a full dollar on, on the average of an 800 pound steer tracking those from 7 to 900 pounds on uh, Beef Market Central there since the end of last week. So these, these uh, yearling markets have been higher. Uh, even though we haven't had the greatest test early in the week, but uh, we're still gaining ground on your market. We've surpassed the feeder board, which the, the feeder futures nearby were, were running at a premium, but, uh, but now we're seeing the cash market go past that. Uh, your real-time index is at its highest point in a long time, sure the highest point this year, uh, but your board was slightly higher on Tuesday after a big sell-off on Monday. Uh, which had nothing to do with the cattle on feed report, had more to do with uh, technical indicators that those traders in Chicago pay a lot of attention to, and if enough of them pay attention to them, whether they have anything to them or not, the, the, the board's going to go that way when they start uh, acting in that way. But also because uh, even though Brazil had so much trouble there, it was well advertised, they've had a lot of trouble with inspection and quality of their product. A lot of their customers come back right to them and, and, and put more orders in uh, right away. And then that was kind of a bearish signal because we thought we might pick more of that up. But uh, you look at some of your cash markets on Tuesday there. Uh, OKC West and El Reno had uh, uh, th oh, almost 32, 3300 head of just calves. They're just selling calves on Tuesday now. Yearlings on Wednesday, but their calves, look at that market report there. Two to six dollars higher on their steer calves there and very active on your calf market in El Reno. Uh, some other markets that we saw, it's uh, really hard to tell uh, a, a trend because so many of your Northern Plains markets and, and Tuesday's just kind of an off day. Monday and Wednesday are big for yearlings. Tuesday's not quite so big, but it is bigger up in the Northern Plains. But a lot of them are just having sales, you know, every other week or having a special one week and then an off week it's really hard to get a handle on what the trend is but uh but like i said on that real time index we know that we're still gaining a little bit of ground and we'll find more out on on wednesday here but uh phillips south dakota you can see on dv auction every tuesday at 145 tuesday afternoon they had 90 head of 608 pound steers bring 165 and a quarter that's sure no lower and a little bit after that around 230 that load of 812 pound steers bring 136 and that's your feeder flash for wednesday